<laughs> that thing when they fear your candidate, another person don't come, come run. Eh, that thing when they fear your candidate now, person don't come outside, come run now. What are they talk say? Make all of them carry their certificate, come outside, come show everybody. Say, eh, then go school. They don't run now. Pito be don't run now. <laughs> he carry his certificate, he come outside, he bust outside, he tell everybody from nursery, primary, secondary, enter university. Even carry them, enter Mba overseas. They tell and say, Oxford, I go here, I go there. Inside, he say, go and verify. All the address, all the school where they write inside. He said, look, if you doubt anyone, use your two legs, walker, enter there. Nobody go stop you. They go carry them. They go give up to you. <laughs> but now, what is some people they carry lawyers? They pay dollars, millions of dollars. Make they no release their academic record. But inshallah, they don't release them. Uh -huh. So all of us now know say this is how you be. Oh. This is how you be. Our own now, the one we consign me now say they won't kill that jump guy. I be jump gear. We score 249. Increase has score. Enter 362. They won't kill him. It don't reach their turn now. They know if you come out, come talk. They, they send people, representative, to come they defend them. Hey, oh, no be Chicago give us the certificates. We collect them from somewhere. Now, third party give us. I, the thing will defend. That thing will, you know, won't do. Another person don't come, runner. He won't say, I should take runner, Mali. Make you not talk too much. Grab your popcorn and listen to Peter Gregory Obi. I see him take carry in Mata, come outside for public show. Everybody say, Make you not see him. Now, like this, he be. If you doubt it, go and verify. But well, let me give you Peter Gregory Obi Wan name. <laughs>
for me here in France, Colombia in New York, and all that. So these are no longer private to me. Everything I read or any call thing I did, programs I participated are documented. When I give you my CV, whatever I write down here, I'll show you what I did there. And they're open for verification. It's no longer a private thing. You, you must be verified. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African roads. Having followed a prolonged identity crisis that recently played out in American courts system and the controversy surrounding the authenticity of the Chicago State University credentials of Chief Bola Ahmed Tunibu. I must confess I'm distressed as a Nigerian. In addition to the barrage of media frenzy that the matter has triggered at home and abroad, I have had the unwholesome burden of responding to embarrassing questions about the Nigerian overall credibility as a nation to privileged audience and individuals both at home and abroad in different parts of the world I've traveled recently. To the outsiders, the entire Chicago University matter, as well as Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu's many other lingering identity question marks have further worsened Nigerian less than glorious image internationally. Uninformed outsiders now see every Nigerian as a foster, certificate forger, or identity thief. The controversy is unnecessary, just as the implicit global embarrassment could have been avoided. In my opinion, Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu should have saved the nation and himself this protracted embarrassment and undue anxiety. Even in this late in the day, however, Chief Ahmed Bola Tinibu still owes the nation and the world a simple debt of obligation only he can discharge. I therefore respectfully and humbly call on him to immediately and personally mount the restroom of his present high office to perform a simple task once and for all time. He should reintroduce himself to the nation he governs and to the world for avoidance of further doubt. He should let the world know his name his nationality, his place of birth, his parentage, the primary and secondary school he attended with dates as well as the actual universities he attended and certificates obtained. It should indicate clearly where and when he did his national youth service. In addition, if at any time he had had a change of name it should state so clearly a circumstance that is never in itself is no crime. This is a simple task that will take only a few minutes. It requires no affidavit, prolonged court process, spokesperson, agents or surrogates. The task is one that only Chief Bolatinibu himself, through a direct personal statement, can perform. He must perform this task urgently in order to lay to rest what 
and for the last time, the many lingering doubts and valid speculation about his true identity. A leader cannot source a clear, unambiguous personal statement about his identity to political surrogates, official spokespeople, lawyers, or any other person, no matter how highly placed. A matter of personal identity of a leader is too sensitive and central to the function of the office he currently occupies to be trifled with, sourced or disguised under the cloak of official. It is a, about integrity, morality, values, and the rule of law that defines the character of a nation and its people. In his present capacity as a leader of a nation of over 200 million Nigerians, his true identity is a matter of grave national and international interest. The people deserve to know with certainty the true identity of their leader. And this overrides whatever rights he may have to personal privacy. In addition, to the, inter in addition the international community deserves to know the true identity of the person with whom they will engage on Nigeria. Having stood for an election of elevated office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Chief Bola Tinibu, have implicitly undertaken to cede the rights of private citizens in favor of life of open disclosure of his true identity and other circumstances that might be of public interest. His personal integrity demands no less. The legitimacy of the office he currently occupies demands that much and even more. Respect for the integrity and esteem of the Nigerian nation within the Committee of Nations makes it even more incumbent and compulsory. It is time to do the right thing. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. Think you boys, nothing. What is the thing? Nothing. You know God. Well, well. You know up. Now you the thing. That thing. Not here. Eh? You know God. Now you got to worry. Not here. God Almighty, go help us finish them.